all right so today is a very simple topic okay uh, very very simple topic and uh, we will uh, start learning it right so what is the topic guys what is the name of the topic what is the name of the uh, uh, chapter today what is the name of the chapter today it is called as string right now it is basically called as string of java that is nothing but string okay it is not small s it is capital s okay can you please underline that it is capital s it is capital s just say underlined okay once you see underlined just say underlined okay now okay and uh, the <clears throat> yeah first of all what do you mean by a string guys any idea what do you mean by a string okay a group of characters which are placed within a pair of double quotes is basically called as okay uh, your uh, string is that okay so what do you mean by string string is basically a group of characters which are placed within your you know, double quotes are basically called as a string is that okay so if suppose you were talking to me guys are you all listening to me are you all there can you hear can you hear me yeah awesome so if it was in c or c++ okay so i could have told you that you know if suppose i had written s u b h sub okay within double quotes like this then i can actually directly tell you that say for example if i say uh, char star s is equal to this is basically c okay it's not java it's because uh, ja, you know c this is a pointer okay so when i if, if suppose this would have c if it if it would have been a c language right if it is a c string if it was a string that would have belong to c language then i could have easily told you that okay it would have been stored in memory like this right where you know each and every characters ascii value would have been stored in memory isn't it guys yes or no agree disagree okay if you know uh, c language right so c language is nothing but you know in c language strings are nothing but group of characters where each character you know uh, would be stored in the memory of one byte location and uh, each character would actually you know what would actually get stored into memory is that for each and every character ascii characters would have been stored okay so that is how uh, we uh, do it in c language right whereas now in java okay so even in java i am sure that you know they would have implemented you know unicode in the memory location but we are really not bothered about it the reason is that everything has been taken care by java okay no so i am not really bothered about how you know strings are represented how characters are placed in memory and all that okay because everything has been abstracted and everything has been taken care by java in detail so i don't want to worry about how it is represented in memory and all that okay so our only idea is to make use of strings so having said that what do you mean by strings strings are nothing but group of characters is that okay my dear friends okay strings are nothing but group of characters hello it is nothing but group of characters is that okay now if suppose you want to create a string right in java how do you create it how do you create a string in java if suppose you want to create a string if suppose you want to say you want to store the name subash subash is a string or a uh, what is subash subash is a string or an integer what is it when i say subash okay it is a string or an integer right it is basically a string it is a nothing it is nothing but group of characters right and if i want to deal with strings in java so what how do i create it okay so i have given you four methods to create it did you notice it in the book i have given you four methods okay so can anyone talk to me today snow you want to talk to me shall yes, we discuss sir. yes sir yeah okay yeah. so snow can you please tell me how many in how many ways can i create a string in java four ways sir what are they can you please check that yes sir this can you please read it out string s1 is equal to hmm. new string Ah. Uh, open bracket uh, double co inside double quotes subash programming classes okay so i am creating a first string isn't it string s1 is equal to new string subash programming classes so now the first string is basically what is it representing which string is it representing s1 no which string is it representing s1 is an object reference pointing to which string what is the string there subash programming classes exactly the string is subash programming classes isn't it so yes. what is basically happening there when i say new string what is happening can you tell me uh in a stack s1 uh, reference s1 okay so stack s1 would be there this is stack okay and there would be s1 right then and uh, in no object uh, subash programming in object classes terms, on the heap heap on heap. the heap there would be an object okay there, there would be an object okay which is nothing but subash programming classes isn't classes. it yes sir subash programming classes so basically string is also an object is it if you can see string is an object that is the reason we use new string correct Right? Yes, sir. Yes or no, guys? Hello, everyone. Yes or no? So basically, strings are nothing but objects in Java. Even strings are objects. Okay, strings are created as objects, right? Okay. What is the second way of creating it? Can you tell me? String S one is equal to double quotes Subash programming classes. 
Okay, here it is string s1 is equal to Subhash programming classes. Even here, the string is a basically an object. So creating that object and all would be taken care by the JVM. So we need not write new string and all that. It is not necessary. This is a second way of doing it. Is that okay? Right, even the same thing will happen. What about the next one? Car, uh, square not bracket. Car. It is care. Just care. Care, ah. care uh, square bracket, array AR, or variable AR. Okay, one second. What do you mean by that? One second. What do you mean by that? If suppose I say int square bracket a, when I say like this, what is the meaning of this? It's an array. It's denoting an array. Exactly. A is an integer array, isn't it? Yes. Therefore, it should contain all integers, isn't it? Yes. Right? Right. Similarly, instead of this, if I write instead of, you know, integers, if I write a char, what does it mean? It's a, it is storing character values. A, no, no. What does it mean? What does A mean? It means A, a is a character a array. Character array. A is a character array. Character so if it is a character array, what is that it should show? It should store, it should store group of characters, characters. isn't it? Yes. So do you see, am I storing a group of characters? Yes, sir. What are those group of characters? Open curly braces. Uh, S, U, B, B, H, A, yeah. S, H. Not H, it is H. H. Ah, it is H, correct? And then using that character array, I am creating a new string. Did you see that? That is one more way to create a string. Is that okay? Okay. So what about the next one? Okay. Then uh, next line, uh, string S1 is equal to new string in bracket array. Okay. So basically that is a fourth way. So basically you have four ways to create an you know, string in Java. Okay, so most probably everybody would use, you know, the commonly used, the easiest way to use is the first method and second method. So I showed you the third method and fourth method just because, you know, it is done. So it is, you know, fair that while I'm doing a course, it is, I felt it is good if I can actually show you the other two methods also. Is that okay, guys? Okay. Did you see sir, the uh, fourth one? I didn't uh, mention, sir. You didn't mention fourth one? That is string S1 yes, is equal to new string. And new string. That, uh, yeah, the same thing like the previous one. Same thing like this previous one, you're actually creating a new character array and you're giving it as parameter to new string. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, they are the four methods, right? So from in the entire course, I would be making use of the first method and second method. Is that okay, guys? Hello, is that okay? Hello, everyone. Is that okay? I would be making use of the first method and the second method. Correct? Okay. Chalo. We'll go to now the first thing. Okay. So what is the first one? Huh? Or what is the first heading quickly? One second. How to can? No, one second. Huh? Guys, yes, today it would be a very, you know, easy session. So I would be, uh, I won't be fast. Okay. But I would try to understand it very, very quickly. So let, let us not waste time. Is that okay, guys? Is that okay? Right. So, and the last topic is very important. So I would spend more time there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, what is the first one? How to concatenate strings? What do you mean by concatenation? Uh, adding uh, strings not adding it is joining two strings joining uh, it is joining. based concatenating is nothing but joining two strings isn't it so yes. how do we join two strings have you ever done joining two strings snow have you ever done in uh, till now in yes till sir uh, using uh, plus operator yeah where did we do tell me where did we basically do that in a uh, system.out.println uh, sis uh, yes sir yes sir no, in system.out.println you remember we did this Concatenation with strings, double yes, quote. Right? What is that we wrote? We wrote, you know, uh, snow, okay, snow uh, plus phi plus. You remember what we did? We actually did concatenation. Snow plus. Yes, sir. Five. No snow. What is your actual name here? Yeah? Pearl C. Snow Fina. What is that? One second. Pearl. Pearl C. Snow Fina. S Y. Pearl C. Snow Fina. Okay. After the class, you just remind me. Okay, we'll have to discuss over your name. Is that okay? No? Okay, sir. We'll have a deep discussion about your name. Pearls. Okay, whatever it is, right? I'll call you Snow. Right? Okay. So, did you understand? So, we have done this concatenation, isn't it? So, basically, yes, what sir. are we trying to do? We are joining the strings, right? So, what is the first method to join? It's a uh, string S1 is equal to hmm. Subash hmm. plus programming plus classes. Okay. So, after that, so Subash string is getting attached to programming plus classes, isn't it? So if yes. I say, if I say system.out.println s1 next to it, what will happen? Subash programming classes will be printed. Exactly. Guys, can you please put that? Okay. SOP of s1 will give you Subash programming classes. It will give you one string. Subash programming classes. Quickly, quickly guys. Hello. Yes or no? After doing that, just say done. It will give you Subash programming classes. Right. What is the next one? Yes, sir. String S1 is equal to Subash press programming. Okay, now String... you have to say SOP S1. What will happen? 
Subash programming. Exactly. Next, what I have? I have a next string. That is string S two is string equal to classes. String S two classes. Okay, S string S three is equal to S one plus S two. So that Subash programming classes will classes. be like concatenated. That is another way of doing it, isn't it? S. Is okay. Okay. The third method. Let us see the third method. String S one is equal to hmm. uh, Subash plus programming. Hmm. String S two is equal to classes. Okay. S one is equal to S one dot concat S two. Exactly. So here, what are we using now? We are using a method called as concat. Okay. So I'm saying concat. Okay. Concat S two with S one. Right. No. So S one dot so S one and S two will get concatenated. So concat is basically a method of which class? String. String class, correct? Because we are calling concat with respect to an object S one of type string. Therefore, string is basically concat is a method of string class. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So before that, I want to explain you one more thing. Can you see the first line on this uh, in this page? On this page, what is the first line? A string object is immutable. Huh. Its content cannot be changed. Yeah. So it means when I say immutable, what do you mean by immutable? Let's know. What do you mean by immutable? Uh, it cannot be changed, sir. It means It's you cannot change the you cannot change the uh, characters of the string once it is created. It is read-only memory. Is that okay? It's only read-only data. Okay, you cannot change its value. It is called as immutable. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Guys, hello. Okay, when I say immutable, can you please underline that? string is immutable you cannot change the characters of the string you cannot change the characters of the string you cannot change its value string is immutable is that okay so dhyanesh yeah dhyanesh so uh, doubt in this immutable uh, part sir hmm. so what happens if we uh, rewrite it sir what do you mean by rewrite give me an example like uh, string s1 is equal to subash is equal to subash yes sir uh in the next line i write s1 is equal to programming s1 is equal to programming uh, programming in double quotes this will be garbage collected uh, the subash will be garbage collected and the programming will be rewritten also s1 is equal to programming isn't it yes sir in quotes you should wait till the next one it is there in the next you okay. see that in the same page did you see that string s1 is equal yes. to subash s1 is equal to rajnikar yes sir it is same as this okay sir Just hold on. I am telling you, you will understand everything. I have given everything over here. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Did you see that? Thought... It is there. It is there. Yes, sir. It is the same question. So wait till there. I will give you. Okay. Yes. Right? Sir. Okay. Right. So just answer me this question. Did you understand this, guys? Okay, that you know, uh, string values cannot be changed. Did you understand this? Yes or no? So that I can proceed further. Okay. Yes, Most sir. of your doubts will be cleared automatically. Give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So how to concatenate strings? Did you know how to attach two strings? Did you learn that? Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. Guys, everyone, just quickly. Okay, I'm proceeding further, right? Okay. So, what do you mean by guys? I'm going to tell you something very important. This is very important. Listen to me carefully. Hello, are you all listening? Just say listening in the chat box. Are you all listening, guys? Say listening in the chat box because I'm going to tell you something very, very important about strings. It's very important that you got to listen. Okay. So, Snow, be with me. Okay, I'll just explain this. Be with me, right? Okay, sir. okay so having said that guys listen to me i will tell you what happens when you actually create a string okay so when you say string okay how many types of areas would be there guys in memory i have been discussing you know the kind of areas what are they Two. one is basically your stack okay and the other one is your heap is that okay now again okay it depends on different implementations how they have implemented the stack okay but as part of a stack as part of a stack there is an area called as perm gem okay permanent generation okay nowadays i think it, the name has been changed to meta gem okay from uh, java 8 onwards the name of this has been changed to meta gem right you know what happens this contains something called as a pool okay what does it contain guys put that in the chat box this is called as pool it contains a pool okay it contains a pool right no right you know what do you mean by this pool pool is it contains objects which are you know very frequently used it contains something called as a very frequently used objects are placed over here right so what happens is that when i say right string okay string s1 is equal to listen to me carefully guys the moment i say string s1 is equal to okay no you know what happens right so s1 is here s1 is here and it is pointing to a string which is there in the 
pool so such kind of strings are placed in pool my dear friends okay so next time when i say guys are you listening to me yes or no do you understand what i am trying to tell you right so when you write string s1 is equal to snow directly so the object is created and that object is basically placed on the pool i'll tell you why it is created okay now when i say string okay string s2 is equal to snow once again when i say string s2 is equal to snow once again you know what happens my dear friends okay do you think one more snow would be created do you think one more snow would be created no there won't be one more snow getting created rather there would be one more s2 okay because you know what the jvm will do when you write s2 is equal to snow first it will go and check the pool okay it will go and check the pool and you know it will see is there anywhere already an ex, you know a snow kind of you know string present or not it will see it will see whether there is another kind of you know any other kind of snow present if there is already a string present like this then what it does is that you know it will not create a new snow rather it will actually start pointing it to the already existing snow is that okay my dear friends guys you understand what i'm trying to tell you right so this pool is used to store commonly used you know or frequently used string objects right now you might ask me why ask me why guys ask me why why ask sir? me why why both s1 and s2 are pointing the same thing first thing is that you make use of strings so frequently in your program right you will be creating lots and lots and lots and lots of strings if you see system dot out dot printl and how many times you would have used guys you would have used so many times no system dot out dot printl and and did you see so many times you are using strings and most of the times when you see is that you know strings will occupy lots of memory space lot of memory space right so that is why java people told okay so let us make a pool kind of memory on the heap and whenever we are creating a string let us actually you know put that in the you know pool and whenever you want to use the same kind of string instead of creating a new snow and wasting the time let us basically okay give the memory address of the same thing and let both objects point to the same object you getting what i'm saying so it is basically used to save memory space and so that the execution becomes faster is that okay guys hello did you understand what i'm trying to tell you yes or no hello yes or no right now there is one more thing to me you know to be answered over here one more thing is that okay jvm doesn't get scared okay whether see listen to me carefully guys okay now don't you think that if both are pointing to the same memory location if both are you know pointing to the same you know uh, string right if s1 changes the value of s don't you think it will get reflected in s2 also yes sir my guys so what do you think Yes, sir. I think it will be reflected. See, if S one is changing the value of S, don't you think even you know that would be reflected in S two also? Snow. Yes, sir. So snow, that is a bad thing, no? Yes, yeah, sir. When S one change, if both are pointing to the same, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, string, and if one fellow changes the value of the string, you know, of this character, don't you think even that would be reflected in S two snow? Yes, sir. I think it would be reflected. And it would be bad, right? Yeah. it would be change in one will reflect in change in other that is really a bad thing isn't it yes sir that is why i told you string is immutable that is why i told you string is immutable what do you mean by that you cannot change its change. contents now you understood why strings are immutable guys guys yes, you know understand why strings are made as immutable because you cannot change the characters because both in your pool okay multiple objects are multiple references are pointing to the same string right so java people thought that let us let us make this you know string as immutable so that both can point to the same string and one cannot change the individual characters of this particular string is that okay guys okay because if one fellow changes others it will be reflected in others so let us not allow the programmer to change the individual characters of the string so let us make this immutable and that is the reason strings in java are immutable guys is that okay guys is okay. that okay now sir, excuse me sir one metal complete it off okay so now now you might feel that okay what if i actually change the value of you know i want to change the value of snow okay that is i want to say string okay s1 is already there okay i now want to make okay s1 is equal to say something else right i want to make it as say uh, instead of snow i want to know no k n o w i want to make it as no right you know in that case what happens now a new string would be created called as no okay and then s1 would be pointing to that no no is that okay s1 would be actually pointing to the new string over here is that okay my dear friends do you understand what i'm trying to tell you 
hello yes or no yes, you understand what is this okay all right yeah someone was asking me something tell me what is it yes sir bhagyashree sir yeah bhagyashree tell sir me. in your textbook you mentioned that we can replace a single character of the string sir where yeah in this material here is no sir online text ha yeah, you can replace correct so how can you say that how did i replace can... Uh, you remember uh, how do we replace? Yes, sir. Ca- uh, we uh, we fetch the individual character, sir. From uh, we fetch the individual. When did I replace? Using which method did I replace? Mm, Care at uh, something you did. Okay, I replaced it using a method called as I think. Replace, sir. Method over here. That is in String Builder, anyways. Okay, but yes, let me sir. give you an uh, here. If you can see ninety-one page number. Okay. Okay. Give me some time, no? Till the next page, I'll explain you what it is. I understood your doubt. Okay, no? Okay, sir. But now understand. Can you replace any character in a particular string? No, sir. You cannot replace. But let okay because you asked, let me explain it out now only. Okay. First of all, guys, did you understand this? I before answering Bagya's question, did you understand this, guys? Okay. What is that thing that you understand? Pool is a place. Bagya, be with me, okay? So pool yes, is sir. a place. We can have multiple strings, okay, which are usually you know frequently paged, and okay, so they are immutable. You cannot change the individual. characters of that string okay and the second one is that okay the second one is that you know uh, if suppose you try to create another object with the same string then a new string of the same new string will not be created rather okay that object should will, will only be returned to that s2 is that okay guys is that okay okay not okay everyone okay with that any doubt ask me now itself till now did you did you understand till you did now understand so disha is asking sir is immutability of string only in java or other languages also disha we are learning java now no let us learn java is that okay disha shall we just focus on java now let us not bother about any other languages is that okay right so disha have you joined my python course here yeah? which is starting february 15th yes sir you are joined yes sir we'll discuss there no in more detail okay sir yeah don't worry i'll discuss there in more detail okay okay sir yeah chalo Till here, did you understand, Disha? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I am changing. Let me go to Bagya's question. Okay, no. Bagya, you are there. Yes, sir. Can you please tell me your question once again, ma? Let me answer. So, Sing S one is equal to. Okay. So let me call it as say Subash. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Oh, right. Okay. Now in page number ninety one, you see that page number ninety one. I have written something called as S one is equal to S one dot replace. Correct, no? Yes, sir. S one dot replace. Okay. A with K is what I have written. Correct, no? A with yes, K. Yes, sir. Correct. Now you are telling me, okay, Subhash, you told you are telling that, okay, once you create an object, let me write it over here. Okay, string object stack. Guys, I am not writing permanent, you know, permanent everywhere. I am just calling it as heap. Okay, understand it is there. Is that okay, guys? Is that okay? I'm not writing. It is difficult for me to write on the boy screen about that perm gen. Assume that it is on the heap only. Okay. Now what happened? Bagya is asking me. Subhash, you told string characters cannot be changed. That is individual elements of a string cannot be changed. Yes or no, Bagya? This is what you're asking me, no? Yes, sir. Correct. Okay, I understood. Okay. So it is Subhash. But what am I trying to do here, Bagya? Tell me. What am I trying to do? I am trying to say that in the string S1, replace wherever A is there, make it K. Yes or no? Yes, sir. You know what will happen internally. Internally, what happens is that the copy of the Subash will be made separately by the JVM. Okay, and okay. this K will be there. No, this K. I mean, this Y will be replaced with K S H, and the memory location of new string would be given to S one. Is that okay? Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Understand? Understanding. It is not changing the original string. You are understanding. It is not yes, changing sir. the original string. It is changing. Okay, the it will make duplicate a copy of string. the original string. That is, it will create a duplicate of it. Make changes over there, and the new address would be given to S one. Is that okay? Okay, sir. That is the reason I am saying S one is equal to S one dot replace. Means the new address you are giving, no, that you store it into S one. Is what I am trying to tell you, isn't it? If it was changing the original string, then I don't need to give this S one at all. Correct? No. Yes, sir. Bagya, you understood what I'm saying? Yes, sir, I understand. Because if it was changing the original string, then I could have just told S1 dot replace. I yes, know sir. that it is not changing the original string. So what I will do? I have to do. I know it is creating a new string. I'm saying after creating a new string, first give me the new address to S1. So the new address would be stored into S1, and the old one would be garbage collected. Okay, sir. Got it or not? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Okay. No. Thank you, sir. 
no problem so having said that so snow you are there yes sir yes no so can you what do you mean by intern so guys okay so what do you mean by interned strings hello one second snow one second okay so yes, guys, what do you mean by interned snow i mean sorry snow it's <laughs> interned string what do you mean by interned string right so you know this i told you about pools there would be you know strings okay which would be duplicated guys i mean uh, which will not be duplicated that would would be uh, okay let me explain that i'll write the diagram once again stack okay stack heap okay and uh, pool this is your heap okay writing the diagram is quite complicated okay so you have your heap and out of your heap you will have some part of memory as pool yes or no guys so you have strings over here guys you have strings over here hello you have strings over here guys yes or no okay so all the strings present on your pool all the strings that are present on your pool over here no like subash snow and all that they are called as interned strings they are called as interned strings okay and interned strings are created by saying string s1 is equal to sorry string s1 is equal to subash string s1 is equal to subash these are called as interned amma hold me back ninga sachanga na bit padta alpa nikita 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 pa so there ke i don't know how to tell this people here okay right so did you see this guys you have a pool so these are called as interned strings so anything any string that you create by saying string s1 is equal to subash within a string they will automatically go and sit in the pool over here they are called as interned string whereas when you say string s1 is equal to new string subash this is one more way to create no guys yes or no this is one more way to create a string right so any string that you create using new string right will come and sit in okay the heap memory over here the general heap right is that okay guys hello it means you're saying i don't want an intern string i want a separate object with a name string okay duplicate it is what you're trying to say so these are the two ways of creating strings when you say string s1 is equal to subash this will go and sit in the pool and that becomes an intern string whereas when you say string s1 is equal to new string okay it will not take from the you know pool rather it will create a new object on the heap itself outside your pool is it okay my dear friends did you understand this hello guys did you understand what i'm trying to tell you hello everyone did you understand what i'm trying to tell you clear with what i'm saying hello everyone is that okay all right okay snow so, no. so can you tell me what is happening in the first case no string s1 is equal to subash okay. s1 is equal to uh, rajinikanth okay uh, in stack s1 is first, pointing yeah so first s1 was containing subash right so it yes. was actually pointing to what it was pointing to subash isn't subash. it okay then yes. then uh, again uh, the same s1 is pointing to rajinikanth yes correct so it is pointing not not same string same object is same reference reference okay. is pointing to same reference variable is now pointing to another string rajinikanth isn't it yes sir okay did you see so what will happen to the first subash it uh, garbage collector will it will be, be garbage collected garbage. it is no more used because any object which is not having any kind of reference pointing to it will be garbage collected is that okay Okay, sir. Okay, next one. String S one is equal to Subash. String S mm two -hmm. is equal to Subash. Subash. Okay. Now tell me, Snow, one, one second. Yes, okay. Sir. So is S one and S two both pointing to the same Subash? Yes, sir. Why? What such kind of strings are called as what string? Intern. Yeah, intern. intern Just now we told you know they are called yes, as sir. intern. And intern. where are all these intern strings present? Pool. It's in the pool, isn't pool. it? Now, yes. so if I say system dot out dot print ln s one equal to equal to s two, what will happen? It will result in true or false. True. You are doubtful or you you are sure? True, sir. It is true. Correct. No way because s yes, one's reference and s two's reference both are same. Same. Both s one and s two are both are referring to the same intern string, and that is why it is true. Is that okay, guys? You can try it out. You will get. At uh, get this value as true. That proves that both are pointing to the same string. Is that okay? So, guys, can you please say true over there? Say true. Say, I mean, write true in the material. Write true in the material. Okay, no. Now, tell me the next one. 
string s1 is equal to new string subash okay string s2 is equal to subash okay system dot out dot print ln s1 is equal to equal to s2 now what do you, can you explain what is happening over here i just explained this s1 uh, in a reference variable it's s1 is pointing to object uh, subash string so i mean it's it's object it's a string object uh, and that subash is present in the pool or on the heap 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 okay what about uh, you know uh, second one s2 is equal to subash where is it present it's uh, present in pool it's in, it's present in pool so do, is it uh, are both pointing to the same subash or two different subash two different subash then in that case when i say s1 equal to equal to s2 what will be the answer false it will give you false isn't it guys yes or no i think i have made it clear to you guys okay just say false there in the book just say false in the book just say false write down false i think the diagram itself will show you that clearly isn't it yes sir okay now tell me next one now you snow answer me this question so in yes, both sir. examples when i said s1 equal to equal to s2 okay and if s1 is equal to subash if s1 is equal to subash okay and s2 is equal to subash right when i am saying s1 equal to equal to s2 what is it actually comparing to is it comparing to the individual contains of the string or is it contain it's is it referring to the references is it comparing the references or is it comparing to the uh, you know individual elements of the string individual elements of the string i will kill you i think addresses reference references what are you talking snow i am telling you with example i think you are not understanding anything sir i can't understand your question you can't understand my question now then how can you answer if you cannot understand my question you are supposed to say i did not understand your question sorry why sir. are you answering for a why are you answering for a question that you did not understand sorry sir no open the page open the page okay 89 come to page number 89 yes sir okay in page number 89 okay the second diagram did you see that string s1 is equal to subash string s2 is equal to subash yes sir yeah you are saying s1 equal to equal to s2 isn't it yes sir my question to you is what are you comparing you are comparing the what is s1 and s2 containing references i mean when i say s1 equal to equal to s2 what are you okay now when you say int a is equal to 6 and when you say int b is equal to 7 okay when i say a equal to equal to b what are you comparing you are comparing two numbers right yes sir so i am asking you what are you comparing here are you comparing the references the addresses of subash or you are comparing the individual elements of the subash what are you comparing address that is what i am asking so you are basically comparing references isn't it yes sir yes or no yes, you sir. are comparing two references okay so when you say equal to equal to it is not comparing the individual characters it is not checking whether individual characters are same or not rather it is comparing the two references no yes or no Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. What if I want to compare individual characters of the string? That is, I want to see whether yes ones individual characters are same or not. What is that I have to do now? Okay. Equals method, sir. Huh? Equals method, sir. Who is this? Arunath, sir. Arunath, did I ask yes, you? Sir. No, sir. Did I ask you, Arunath? No, sir. No, sir. No, no. No, sir. Okay. Enjoy the session. Okay. I'll talk to Snow. Okay. Is that okay? Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Snow, read out yes, that. Sir. Read out that now. How to check the equality of individual characters in two strings? Yes, sir. Huh. Equal to equal to operator checks huh. only if S one. Loudly, loudly, you should speak. Equal to equal to operator checks huh. only if hmm. S one and S two refer to the same object. Hmm. It does not check the contents of the string object. Do you understand? It won't check the contents of the string object. It only check the references. That is what it means. Correct now? Yes, sir. Next one. To compare the contents, use equals method. Did you understand that? So if yes, you want sir. to check the contents, then you have to use the equals, equals method. method. That is what Harina was telling. Correct yes, now? Sir. Right yes. now, read that quickly. You must read that first. What is that? String S one is equal to. So bash string S two is equal to new string so bash string S three S three is equal to Sukash. Sukash. Okay. Next. System dot out dot print ln s one equals s two 
A S one dot equals S two. Uh, S one dot equals S two. Now what will S one dot equals S two do? It will check the individual contents of the string. Correct? No. It yes. will check whether the contents of S one is containing the same contents as S two, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will check whether S one the the string to which S one is pointing to does it have the same content as the content that S two is pointing to? Correct or not? Yes, sir. So now tell me S one dot equal to S two true or false? true sir in place of s1 dot equals s2 it is true guys put that in the uh, put that put that in the material true s1 dot equals s2 is true isn't it everyone hey everyone put that quickly write it down write down in the material and say written quickly say written after writing say written okay now no instead of s1 dot equals s2 in the same program if i would have written s1 equal to equal to s2 then what would have happened tell me It would be resulting in false. Why it would be resulting in false? Because it referred to the same object. Huh? Hey, what is this no telling? Because sir. Uh, in that program, listen to me. Question properly, no, or else I'll get very angry. I did not I, understand the question. Say I did not understand. Don't give me your. Uh, don't make me. I'm, my question was in that example, s1 dot equals is there? No, s1 dot equals s2. s1 dot equals s2 is there? Yes, sir. What will it give you now? True, sir. Why it is true? Because uh, Subhash and Subha, uh, it uh, referring to the uh, strings. Correct. So s1 is containing Subhash. Subhash. S2 is also containing Subhash. The contents of both s1 and s2 are same. Yes, sir. Agree or not? Day hey, understood or not? Sir. You tell me here. Understood, sir. Contents are same, correct? No. S one is pointing to one string called a Subhash. S two is also pointing to one string called a Subhash. So both the contents are same. That is why this equals is there, isn't it? Yes, sir. Now my question is: instead of this, if I write S one equal to equal to S two, then what will happen? It will result in false. Why it will result in false? Because uh, both uh, S one. Oh my God, <laughs> sir. Uh... Why? What happened? I don't know, sir. First time I'm speaking like this, so. First time you're speaking like what? I'm not able to speak. Uh, you're. Uh... Okay. No. Hey, uh, Snow. See the above example. See the above example. Yes, sir. What is the above example? In that, on the top there is one example. See there. Yes, string sir. String S1 is equal to new string Subhash. Correct. Yes, sir. Then string two is equal to Subhash. Did you see that? Yeah, sir. S one equal to S equal to S two. What is the output of that? False. Why? Because uh, S one is pointing to a different Subhash and S two is pointing to different Subhash. Turn the page eighty nine. Come to eighty nine. Yes, sir. Ah. So there, string S one is equal to Subhash. String S two is equal to Subhash. There, S one equal to equal to S two. Yes, sir. True or false? True. Why true? Because S one is pointing to S one and S two both are pointing to Subhash, same Subhash. Why that is pointing to same Subhash? Because that is interned string. Interned string. That is there in the pool, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when you say S one is equal to new string Subhash, is it there in the pool or is it there no, on the sir. heap? Heap. Ah, huh. now come to this example. Come to the current one which I am discussing. Yes, sir. String S one is equal to Subhash. String S two is equal to new string Subhash. So are they two different strings? Which in uh, how to check the equality of individual characters in two string? It is there, no? That one which we are discussing now. Yes, sir. Both are a uh, different. Both are different string, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so will it give S one equal to equal to what will it give? False. False. That is why it is false. Yes. Sir. What will S one dot equals S two give? True. Why it will give you true? Because it is not checking for the. Reference. It is checking for the individual contents of S one. S one is Subhash. S two. So equals will check the contents, and this equal to equal to will check the reference. Simple. Why are you so compli complicating it? Okay, sir. You understood or not? Understand, sir. Promise. Promise, sir. Who is your God? Jesus. Promise on Jesus. You understood. Promise, sir. Jesus is God, is it? Ah, uh, myself. Huh? Myself, God. Jesus is not God. Who told Jesus is God? You don't. You don't read Bible, is it? I I won't read. 
you read bible or not yeah sir ha ah, he said he is god huh? but i think has he is god he is he think he is god like how i think uh, I, i actually i think you know you know whom i follow on instagram guys anyone knows whom i follow on instagram anyone knows whom i follow on instagram no one knows my con for me my con is god i don't know like that you consider jesus as god is it yes okay okay jesus is just a messenger of god no anyways let's not bother about it okay so uh, no you are god okay for okay, you, know, yeah. you should consider yourself as god okay and do okay. good things okay now next one how to compare two strings string s1 is equal to no new string subash hmm. Hmm. string s2 is equal to new string subash okay hmm. system dot out dot print ln s1 dot compare to s2 compare to s2 s2 okay so listen to me guys i'll tell you what happens here compare to method will compare the contents of the string s1 with s2 and will give either of these three values either it will give you a negative value okay either it will give you a negative value okay or it will give you a zero value or it will give you a positive value okay for example if i say s1 is equal to okay asha assume s1 is equal to asha and s2 is equal to or uh, uh, let me say aha okay because this is very big right assume s1 is equal to aha okay s2 is equal to aha okay two are there correct no snow is it okay snow you are sir, there yes sir yes sir or thinking about jesus no sir i am here think about me now for now okay, okay? don't think about anyone else right now okay. s1 dot compare s2 when you start comparing this you know what happens what compare to method will do compare to method will start okay comparing the character first character of s1 and first character of s2 okay is that okay, okay. and then okay. are both same yes sir same okay next are both same it will go to the next character are both same same it will go to the next character are both same same are both same same if both are all the characters are same then it will it will it will subtract the first character and the second character of the i mean uh, the last i mean it will start subtracting so tell me what is the ascii value of capital a 64 65 65 what is the ascii value of uh, this one uh, capital a 60 so it will subtract 65 minus 65 is how much zero it will give zero. you zero not zero okay it will give zero. you zero okay now i will change this okay it will give assume small a uh, like this correct now again when i say s1 dot compare to s2 you know what will happen it will first compare these two yes. okay and it will start it is same if it is same it will go to the next one okay yes. so it will see it is different how it will know it is different because ascii value of a is different ascii value of a this capital a is different right so yes. it will do 97 minus of 65 okay sir the moment it it sees the difference it will stop here and will see you know it will do the subtraction here itself and the output would be 32 32 it means s1 is greater than s2 it will give you a positive value is that okay okay sir right it means it is greater it has a it's a greater uh, it has a character that has a greater ascii value correct yes now, sir so instead of this now we do the reverse what will happen what will happen it will give you minus 32 minus that's all so either it will give you 0 32 or minus 32 or i mean zero positive number or negative number is that okay okay sir okay guys write down that it's simple i mean nothing to write down you can try it out after the class please try it out okay right come to the next one how to find the length of a string what is the method used length length method is used s1 dot length method so what is the output of that s1 dot length method it will give you 7 7 it will give you 7 write down guys 7 and just say written in the book Just say return. If you return, say return. Guys, if you return, say return. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. Uh, next. How to fetch a single character from a string? A yes. snow. Tell ya. Sir, I'm. How to fetch a single character from a string? Okay. So what is the first one? String S one is equal to Subash. Ah, next one. Next one. System dot out dot print ln S one dot care at zero. Zero, not zero. zero. It is zero. Zero. Tell five times zero, 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 five times zero. Zero, 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 zero. Ah, 
okay so caret zeroth position okay because when you say string right it is nothing but a kind of group of characters no right so it starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 did you see this correct right? so i am asking to fetch the character at the zeroth position so what is the first output s yes write down guys it is the first next one at the sixth position system dot out dot print ln s1 hmm. dot caret sits hmm. sits so, such okay so what will get printed h, h will get printed okay write down in the material next one how to replace characters in a string ah, string s1 is equal to subash hmm. s1 is equal to s1 hmm. dot replace open braces uh, a comma k hmm. okay so what is it happening what am i trying to do i am replacing a with k k so the output would be okay instead of a there would be k correct no yes If sir try to print uh, s1 it would print, print k then then a uh, system system dot out dot print ln s1 that is ah, this is printed s, next s1 is equal to s1 dot replace first occurrence Open of prices. h that is replace first occurrence of h with h. what b b therefore what happens this will get b mm. is that okay guys hello is that okay mm. next s1 is equal to mm. s1 dot replace all mm. sub a a a so replace all the occurrences of sub the substring sub must be replaced with a a a, 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 a. b k a s h this is what it becomes is that okay okay sir. hello guys write down and quickly tell me written so that i can proceed further hello tell me quickly ha huh, then tell me what happens s plus u dollar b hash okay h uh, a, a s h s h okay, huh. h. okay. Hmm. s1 is equal to this is uh, this one okay tell s1 me s1 is equal ha huh. string s1 Ah, so this one dot replace all replace, replace all. all. Did you see the square bracket? Replace all. Okay, that is uh, within this. Okay, uh, plus dollar hash. Correct? No, did you see this plus dollar hash? Yes, yes or no? Okay, it means yes, when you sir. say within the square brackets, so all these things, any of these, if it might, finds it, okay, wherever it sees plus or wherever it sees dollar or wherever it sees hash, replace all that with what? N capital N N N so it would become S N N N U N N N B N N N H A S H. This is the meaning of that. Okay, right? Okay, sir. Okay, next one. How right? to you find? Please write out all these things. I'll be a little bit fast over here because these are nothing to explain. Is that okay, guys? Hello, is that okay? I'll be a little faster because there is nothing much to explain in this. Hello, guys, is that okay? Not okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. You please try it out. Yeah. then how to find substring in a string yeah you have string. to find out the substring within a given string isn't yes or no yes sir so what does it says string s1 is equal to subash programming classes ah, system nice. dot out dot print ln s1 dot substring hmm. 8 comma 11 yo it means 8 inclusive 11 exclusive guys write this down 8 inclusive 11 exclusive Eight inclusive, and after writing, we say return so that I can proceed further. Eight inclusive and eleven exclusive. It means from eight to eleven, eight will be includes included. Eleven will not be uh, included. Okay, so tell me from eight to eleven, what we will get? So no, tell me what is the zeroth character? S. So go to the eighth one. Which is the eighth one? P. Ah, P R correct? O. Huh. Oh, so what is G? G is eleven, is it? Yes, sir. G is eleven, so eleven will not be included. It would be excluded. So P R O will be the output. Is that yes. okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Hello, guys. Do you understand? Guys, hello. Did you understand that eight inclusive, eleven exclusive? Okay. Ah, huh. now next one. Tell me. How to find the index of a character or substring in a string? Okay. String S one is equal to Subash programming classes. Subash, one minute. Let me write it. Subash programming classes. Okay, then. System dot out dot print ln s one dot index of s. Ah, index of s. The index of s. What is this index? Zero, Zero. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine. This is ten. This is eleven. This is twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 
okay 19 20 21 okay 22 23 24 25 26 okay tell me index of s what is the index of s small s this is capital s this is small s the first occurrence five. is it it is 5 correct no the output is 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 next system dot out dot print ln s1 dot index of s, s comma 6 means starting from the sixth position ignore all this starting from the sixth position what is the index of s can you tell me Start. index of s starting from the sixth position so ignore from here you have to figure out now okay so where is the s it is 23 23 next System dot out dot print ln s one dot lost index one second index. one second Sunil can you unmute yourself no sir can you hear me sir yeah sir in the line system dot out dot print ln s one dot index of s ah uh, it will take only the first s s first smallest not the class s s in the classes sir in the first one no sir you it is just only s one dot index of s sir right no sir in the first that is what first one Index yes, sir. Index of this, yes, sir. But in the string, we have totally one, two, three, four small s, sir. It will take only the first one. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. You do one thing. See, in strings, no, you try out everything by yourself. I will give you the output here. Please try out everything by yourself. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Ah, huh? try out. It is very so. Uh, it is very nice to actually work and see whatever happens. Because, but for your answer, yes, it is yes. Is that okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. So did I miss seven? Someone is telling I missed seven. Who is telling? Bageshri, can you tell me what is it? I missed. Sir, you have not given any character uh, the value of seven, sir. This is space. Yeah, sorry, sir. Space is also a character only. Yes, sir. Correct, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are you simply asking me doubts? No, sir. I just I it uh, got out of my mind, sir. So. Oh, why it went out of your mind? No, sir. I didn't notice space, sir. So. Why it is so eligible? I mean, it is so visible, no? Space. No, sir. I it just got out of my mind, sir. Sorry, sir. I think you simply want to talk to me. That is why. No, sir. That's not like that. Okay, sir. Kidding, Never, kidding. sir. <laughs> simply, I, I just got. I okay. Just got okay. I was kidding. Yeah. Come on. Kidding. Kidding. Okay. Yes. Chalo. Fine. Okay. Now, uh, Sunil, did you understand, Sunil? Yes, sir. We are pure understood, sir. Yeah. Okay. Ashwa, Thank yes. You, they are okay, pa. Yes, they are okay. Continue, ma. Continue. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, if there are case sensitive, then in the first statement we are searching for small s, right, sir? Hmm. Correct. But the Subhash, the first s is capital. Correct. What so it case sensitive. It will search for small s, no, sir. It is search for small s only, no? Okay. So fifth element will will be retrieved, no, sir? Correct. Yes, that is what I am saying. Okay, sir. I you also confused. want to talk to me simply, no, Ashwa? No, sir. I was confused about case hey, sensitive. Hey, you are Kerala. You are want to speak to me. That's all. That is why. What is Kerala, sir? You don't know Kerala means what? No, sir. Where are you from? Bangalore, sir. You know, you don't know Kerala? No, sir. <laughs> Kerala means chore, chore, chore. You know, chore. Thief. Yes, sir. Thief. Uh, so like that. You simply want to talk to me. Hmm? Mm. In yes, sir. It's good talking to you, sir. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Chal. Excuse Fine. me, sir. Yeah. Tell me. Oh, this is Midhat. Yeah, Midhat. Sir, tell me. Why it is going to first so, first yes, sir? Why it is not going to the yes of classes? Be, yes of classes. Be, which one? The first one. Index of s. Huh. Small s is present in classes also, no, sir. Yeah, but it only says the first one. It will give you the first one. If you want the last one, okay, mm -hmm. then you use that last index of yes. Then it will give you this x. Or if you want to say this is, then you say first index of from so and so position. Then it will give you that is. Okay, thank you, sir. Guys, why are you asking me such kind of doubts? And it's all built-in methods here. Okay, try it out and see by yourself. No, let us concentrate on something really important. And all these are some basics which you can do by yourself. Okay, I am waiting for one very important topic at the last. Did you see that comment on arguments? That is really a very important topic. If you are wasting time here itself, then I'll not be able to concentrate there. You'll you'll become tired. Okay, so all these simple things, why don't you try by yourself? Is that okay, guys? Guys, am I making sense to you, guys? We are. These are some very very simple things which you can actually try it out and see. Okay, please try it out and see. And then the last one is very important topic. Okay, so keep your energy for that more. Okay, now start here. Yeah, next one.
system dot out dot print l n s one dot last index of s last index of s twenty six twenty six system dot out dot print l n s one dot last index of gram okay last index of gram here eleven it is eleven yes. if suppose there was a gram here then it would have taken that one okay yes yes guys okay if there was a gram here like gram how you have here if suppose there was a gram here then it would have taken this gram okay try it out next one. How to split a string? How to string. split a string? Okay, before getting into it, okay, fourteen numbers. Where is fourteen? What is fourteen? Is asking. Nida Fatima is telling fourteen. No, sir. What is fourteen? No, eleven. It is eleven. It is gram starting G. It is eleven. Try it out. Okay. Try it out, Nida. Nida, you are there. Even like that. Nida, yes, I cannot sir. hear you. Yes, sir. Textbook, online textbook, you have G. So now oh, try it out, yeah. Try it out, okay. Nida, try it out, ma. Sir, in online text. Okay, sir. How to split a string, guys? How to split a string? Uh, um, Snow, tell me what is this string? S one is equal to. Subash. 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 Hash. Subash hash space loves okay loves hash hash programming hash programming okay hash programming okay right now okay what is that I am saying now okay now before this before explaining this answer this question okay so uh, human being okay okay well, let us go from the basics listen to me guys listen to me guys please listen to me hello guys listen to me please are you all listening just say listening in the chat box. Very important. I'm going to explain you something important. Hello, listening? Yeah, listen to me. Uh, Snow, what is this? Int array of a. It is an array of a. Array of is a. The, or a is, is the, an array of integers. A is an array of integers. So what will happen here? Tell me in the stack. Tell me what happens in the stack now. A, A. pointing to ah. two array array in array, array two comma two five two, six five and six correct six. So this is zero one and two. two. Okay. Okay, sir. Right now. Oh, yes, right. Sir. Right now. Okay. Tell me what will happen here. Uh, say similarly, I am saying string square bracket s is equal to. Okay, so I would say snow, comma nida. Okay, and then I'll say firasat. Okay, now here tell me what will happen. Same what is as this? stack. Tell me, I will draw the diagram. Stack, stack. heap, heap. Ah, uh, s reference s pointing to uh, huh. in array <laughs> index in array. zero. Index zero, snow. One. Then Nida. Then Firasat. Yes, yeah, sir. So this will be containing snow. Isn't Nida. it? This yes, will sir. contain what? Nida. Nida. Okay. And then this will contain what? Firasat. Firasat. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Guys, is it okay? Guys, you understand this? Okay. So snow. What? Okay. Let us let me call someone. Okay. So uh, Vaishnavi, are there? Vaishnavi, are there? Can you unmute yourself, Vaishnavi? Vaishnavi, you are there. Okay. Uh, Anushri, you are there. Can you talk to me? Anushri K, you are there. Yes, yes, sir. Anushri, tell me what is this called as? What is this called as? Array of? Array of integers, sir. What is this called as? Array of? Strings. It is basically array of strings, isn't it? Yes, sir. Guys, are you all okay with that? Is it array of strings? Hello, is it array of strings? Okay, now, now uh, what I want to ask you is, you know, give me a moment. I, I just slipped out. Okay. Have you used array of strings anywhere else, guys, other than this? Today's class, have you used array of strings anywhere else? You have not used? No, sir. No, have you used anywhere else array of strings? Guys, you have been using it. Yeah, Disha, you are right. You remember you used it in main method, guys? In main? Hello? Public, static, void, main, okay, string, Arcs. Have you you remember that? 
everyone yes. string arcs so you have used it isn't it so what is that called as it is basically an array of strings isn't it guys they are called as array of strings hello yes or no they are basically called as array of strings isn't it yeah okay now do you understand array of strings now now snow tell me what is happening over there no a string array of words is equal to s1 dot split s1 dot split hash with hash you know what do you mean by this when i say split i'm saying okay wherever you get a hash in this particular string s1 split that and put that into the array is that okay okay sir you know what happens then when i split that and put that into an array okay so what is the name of an array words it is words isn't it this yes. is basically words okay and if i split this how many words will i get if i split one. this string wherever i get hash how many words will i get one it will get three one is subhash once hash came subhash then i will take this i'll split this out okay and i will place it in place of okay the first one the zero i am putting it into an array correct no words is an array yes sir, yes, sir. yes sir so i will put that into okay here so it is subhash then yes, next one loves so it becomes loves then next one programming programming so basically you are splitting an uh, string and making it as an array of uh, strings is that okay okay sir you understand this guys hello everyone this is how you basically split it hello guys yes or no uh, dhyanish yes sir yeah dhyanish so what happens to the hash sir nothing it will it is removed it is acting like a you know uh, what do you call delimiting character nothing will happen you are trying to split this wherever hash comes split it and subhash loves programming will get stored over here as a string hello yes or no okay we have space after hash no sir huh we have space after hash no sir yeah then what will happen is here loves there would be a space here loves yes, sir. Okay. okay okay sir yeah shaker it is possible shaker is asking split with space is possible possible i'll be doing that at the last exercise okay split with space also possible okay now uh, next one uh, firas uh, i mean uh, snow come to the next one string s1 is equal to hmm. subhash ash ah. loves question mark hmm. programming hmm. colon with hmm. comma java okay so can you tell me what is happening in split uh, split uh, in spl uh, string words is equal to s1 dot split with respect uh, to what split with respect to what question mark colon colon comma. and comma whenever you get a hash a question mark colon and a comma split it that's what you are trying to say is that okay yes, yes sir in that case can you tell me how many words you will get five five words what are they subhash loves uh -huh. programming with java java correct so yes, now what is uh, words of z words of four can you tell me what is words of four java is there okay 0 1 2 3 4 correct exactly words of zero subhash okay guys is that okay guys is that okay hello okay. is that okay so i want you to try that out practice it my dear friends please practice it after the class okay next one tell me what is the next one how to delete the preceding and trailing white spaces in a string yeah so it means if suppose i have s1 is equal to space 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 snow okay and space 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 you know Uh, you know, and then uh, double quotes. It's basically a string which is containing a preceding and a trailing blank spaces. Yes or no? Yes, sir. I want to remove this from the string and make it as just normal snow like this. Correct? Yes, sir. If I want to make like this, then I'll have to use a method called as trim. Trim. Did you see that? Just yes. underline that trim and see the output after doing this. You'll get to know. Okay. So the preceding okay. and trailing spaces would be deleted from here. Okay, but not the spaces in between the string. only the starting space of before the string and after the string not in between the string is that okay right okay, okay next one how to do pattern match matching in a string how to do pattern matching in a string okay quickly then string s1 is equal to java is my favorite okay string s2 is equal to okay, 23 that, that pattern leave forget about it next one yes sir system dot out dot print ln s1 dot matches java dot star when star. i say java dot star i am saying does the when i say s1 dot matches okay java dot star it means i am seeing whether that s1 contains or starts with the you know string java and continues with n number of characters 
okay so when i say java dot star it means it must start with java forward i mean uh, you know continued with a number of any other number of characters okay so will it match yes sir match it is matching so java it is starting and it will it is continuing with any number of characters correct no this is a wild card character wild card character is that okay so let us not bother about it so when i say java dot star it means it must start with a java it is matching no matching yes. in java followed by any number of characters so it will give you true next one system dot out dot print ln s1 dot matches java dot star so will it match no sir why uh it's a case sensitive it is starting from small j small right j. no so yes. that is why it will give you false yes sir okay hello guys is that okay hello okay guys, hello yes no okay so next one do it as your assignment here s2 dot matches take that as your assignment can you please write assignment over there just say i mean if you see it is basically you know when you say d4 it is checking whether it contains four digits it is containing four digits okay so try that out come to the next one ma next one how to convert the case of a string string s1 is equal to subash s1 hmm. is equal to s1 dot to upper case Yeah, so when I say two upper case, that S U B H A S H will become completely S U B H A S H upper case. Okay, no. So two lower case means everything will become to two lower case. Is that okay? Okay, sir. That's all. So two upper case, two lower case. Upper case will convert everything to upper case. Two lower case will convert everything to lower case. Guys, is that okay? Hello, is that okay? Simple one. Just practice it by yourself. Okay. Next. What is the next one? Builder class. Yes. So. Till now, what did we study? String class, isn't it? Till now, what did we study, guys? Till now, what did we study? String class. What is that? Now we are going to learn string builder class. We learned string builder class, correct? Okay. So, what is the difference between string and string builder class? Can you read it out? The string builder and the string classes are similar to the string class, except that the string class is immutable. So, what do you mean by string? So, string is immutable, whereas string new string builder is mutable. Exactly. So string builder, okay. String builder is mutable. Mutable means what? It can be changed. Mutable means it can be changed. changed. The individual elements of the string builder can be changed. Whereas in a string, it cannot be changed, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Next one. How to append to a string? How to string append? Append means what? Add. Attach. Attach. Correct? Yeah. Then tell me. String builder S is equal to new string builder Subash. Subash. So I created a new object called a string builder, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, then S dot append programming. Mm. Mm. Then again, S dot S dot append classes system okay. dot out dot print ln S. So what will get printed? Subash programming class. Uh, uh, Bagheshree, you are there online? Can you uh, mute yourself and talk to me? Yes, sir. Bagesh, you you asked me, you know, whether how the individual elements of the character string was changing. I told you there. You you only asked me that question, right? Yes, sir. Correct. Did you see here? I am not saying S one is equal to or S is equal to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Question or not? Yes, sir. I understood. In the string, I said S one is equal to S one dot replace. Yes, sir. We But were assigning that. We are assigning back to this S one. A new yes, address sir. was getting, you know, filled over here. But you see, I am not assigning anything. I am just directly saying is dot append because it is able to change the individual elements of the string. You are understanding this? Yes, sir. Simple. Got it or not? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Okay. Super. Okay. Okay. So no, go. Guys, oh. others understood. Guys, others, did you understand what I am saying? Snow, you understood what I am saying? Yes, sir. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Next one. How to delete characters from a string? How string to builder. delete characters? Okay. Fine. Ha. Huh. String builder s is equal to new string builder Subash. Hmm. S dot delete three comma six. Yeah. Three inclusive, six exclusive. Okay. S right. Done. Three inclusive, six exclusive, and uh, see the output. After deleting, what will be the output? You see by yourself. Okay. Next one. S dot delete char at one. Ah, so you are deleting the character at the first position. Okay, yes. so just do that and try it yourself. Okay. Okay, sir. How yeah, to one. how to replace in a string? Okay. Hmm. String builder s is equal to new string builder Subash. Okay. S dot replace two comma five comma me. It means replace from the second position till position. the fifth position with me. Yes. Okay. Sir. Two inclusive, five exclusive. 
Okay, can you tell me what is the output of that now? Sumesh. Exactly, it would be Sumesh. Yes. Guys, right, is that okay? Replace two to five with me. Two to five with me. Okay, two inclusive, five exclusive. Two inclusive, five exclusive. So therefore, therefore, it becomes Sumesh. Okay, next one. How to set a character in a string? Ah. String builder s is equal to new string builder Subash okay. s dot set character at set char at zero hmm. Hmm. s. So it means that capital S will be replaced with small s. Correct? Yes, sir. So it will become small Subash. Yes, sir. Okay, next one. How to insert characters in a string? String hmm. builder s is equal to new string builder hmm. sash hmm. s dot insert one. At first UBH. position, UBH. UBH. So what will happen? What will be the output? Subash. It would be Subash. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Guys, I think there is nothing much to explain here. Yeah, isn't it? So I'm a little bit faster over here. Is that okay? Hello, guys. All these things you will have to practice by yourself only. Then you will be able to understand. I'm. I mean, I. I don't want to waste time in just explaining you these built-in methods, guys. So don't mind. Okay. Little bit uh, faster. I'll go. Right. Next one. How to reverse a string? Hmm. String builder s is equal to new string builder Subash hmm. s dot reverse. Then uh, it will be printing. It will be reverse. Okay. Yeah, yes. you can try that out. Okay. So can you tell me the output of this quickly? Guess the output. Hmm. Guess the output. String s okay. one is equal. One second, to... guys. Can you do the guess the output by yourself here? Yeah? Can you just type that and see? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you take that as an assignment, guys? It is simple. It will be, take simple. You know, it's all very very simple things. Okay. Can you please write it as assignment? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Second one and second one is you will do it. Third one you take it as an assignment. That is also quite simple. Third one is also very simple. Second one we will solve. Is that okay? Hello guys. Second one is quite important. So please concentrate. Second one we will solve. Third one as an assignment. Okay. Now so let me call up someone. Okay. So Dhanesh, second one. Yes sir. Yes sir. Second one. Solve the second one quickly. Um. So should I solve and say, or should I solve it? Solve it openly, sir. Like, and uh, solve it openly. Uh, we have class string. Uh, inside that we have a string uh, instance instance string text. Uh, and there's a constructor uh, which takes a string s. Yes. Okay, my and question we... to you is okay. My question to you is answer me this question first. Okay, no? Yes. Class uh, class uh, Dianesh. Yes, sir. Class Dianesh, okay. Yes, sir. And I will have int a float b char c, okay, boolean d, okay, and um, string f, something like this, okay. Okay, sir. By default, what will this contain? Zero, sir. What will this contain? Zero point zero. This is ASCII value of zero. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, boolean false. 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 Okay. This. Uh. Yeah. Space just one word. Null. Okay. Null. Because okay, you just uh, what is it? User defined class, correct? No. So for yes, all sir. for all reference type, any reference type, when you don't give any value, by default it would be null, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now solve that problem. What is string text containing? Uh, after the constructor, it will contain whatever is in the parentheses. Uh, the argument before that uh, default null will be there. What is that? What is that? What is that? Like uh, the constructor, see properly. See, sir? properly, see properly, see properly. Okay, answer me this question. Okay, uh, assume I am taking one in TA over here. Okay, it is in. A, okay, or int s something like this. Okay, int s. Okay, now if I say int a is equal to s. Okay, so is this oh, a? Is this a? No, sir, no, sir. That's is a local test. Is exactly, this is local, okay, isn't it? Okay, sir. Ah, so that text is not same as that this text which is present here. Correct? Yes, sir. Here it is local. Here it is, you know, the class variable. Now tell me what happens. So by default, uh, what will that text contain? None. It will contain none. None. none nothing. Isn't it? So this string text will contain none. Correct? Yes, sir. String text 
string text okay and this is nothing but another string test text this is another string yes sir text string text correct no yes sir. so then tell me uh, then we enter the public class test uh, public method uh, static void main so uh, one minute this is containing null right yes sir. Called, this will contain null isn't it yes sir okay so it is not pointing to any object now it is containing null correct yes sir okay right guys is that okay everyone okay with that hello is everyone okay with this hello everyone ask me if you have any doubt ask me quickly if you have any doubt guys any doubt no pakka okay now tell me so then we uh, make a new object for the class test hmm. uh, class uh, small test uh, capital test is the small test is new text of uh, argument hello so the constructor will be called uh, constructor with the hmm. string s will be called hmm. and we save uh, uh, hello in small text local variable so yeah you will change it to local variable but this will not get updated right yes sir it will not be updated okay next then we are printing uh, test dot te uh, text to upper case uh, null uh, there is nothing to convert to upper case so nothing will be printed no nothing why there is nothing to be printed converted you are saying because null, uh? yes sir yeah so can you call to upper case on a null reference uh i thought we can call but there is nothing so nothing will happen no no so you cannot call you cannot call a method on a null reference so that will result okay, in a runtime sure. error calling or trying to reference a null you know point a null reference right will result in a yes. null uh, what is that null pointer exception okay, okay sure. result in a null pointer exception runtime error is that okay guys hello it will result in a null pointer exception hello Okay, guys, sir. yes or no? Hello, guys, do you understand? If you do not understand, you know, just unmute yourself and talk to me. Guys, if you do not understand, unmute and talk to me. Hello, if you do not understand, unmute and talk to me. I am waiting for you. Guys, hello, unmute. Shall we proceed? Do you understand why this is? Anu, you understood. You did not understand. Anu, you understood. You did not understand. K Anu, you understood. You did not understand. Unmute yourself, yah. Yeah. Unmute yourself and talk to me. Then why confusion means what? Unmute yourself. There is a confusion means you did not understand. Unmute yourself and talk to me. Yes, sir. You are there. Yes, sir. I am there, sir. Confusion means what? You did not understand, isn't it? Yes, sir. Then why are you saying confusion? Say you did not understand. I'm waiting for you only. Don't I waste time. When I'm saying you did not understand, unmute yourself and talk to me very quickly. Let us not waste time, isn't yes, it? Sir. Yes, sir. Ah, so Dhanesh, you are there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Dhanesh, can shall we do it once again? Yes, sir. Yeah. So let me write it over here. Class, Anu, you are there? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Be online. So Dhanesh will explain. Okay. So we'll do it together. Class test. Okay. So test. one minute, one minute, one minute. Let me yes, complete sir. it off. String yes, text, sir. right? Then you have uh, the test class constructor, okay? And inside this, what are you writing? Inside this test constructor, sir. Text, sir. This text is it. It is text, okay? And uh, this is text. And here you have string, uh, string yes. And within this, you write string. What is that? Text is equal to. I mean, string yes. text is equal to. Yes. yes. Okay. Then what do we have? Public class test, isn't it? Public static test. And then what do you have? Here we have public static, static void main. main. Okay. And then string args. Okay. Then within this, what do you have? Here we have text. text. Small test. Test, test is equal to new text. Okay. And say hello, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Okay. And then what will I do? System dot out dot print ln. Okay. So I would say test dot. Okay. Text dot. Okay. So two upper case, two upper case, or whatever it is, right? Okay. Now tell me, Dhanesh, what will happen? Uh, so that uh, inside the main class, inside the main object, hmm. uh, class test object text will uh, object text. 
for the uh, new text will be created where we have the argument hello in it okay so shall i write an object here there is a stack okay there yes. is a heap okay so what is the name of the reference uh test okay then i will be pointing the class the uh, the actual object sir which will yeah. contain the org hmm. so it will be containing the object so this yes, is sir. a text object isn't it anu yes or no yes sir so what is this what is the instance variable it is containing text anu yes or no yes sir what is the default value of text now null sir null okay it is containing null okay this is containing null okay ha huh. dhanesh now tell me so uh, the uh, constructor with an argument is called hmm. uh, where the argument uh, the hello is passed to string s yes. hmm. okay and uh, inside inside the constructor uh, new local variable string text is created hmm. and the string s is saved in the text okay so anu do you think this will get updated anu sir i didn't understood sir what you did not understand till now what you did not understand anu what you did not understand string string text is equal to yes sir that line i didn't understood sir okay see when you have decided you won't understand you won't understand My, sir no sir you are trying to see here what is this one tell me what you did not see i am not understanding you are saying string text is equal to yes i did not understand means what you did not understand anu you are there yes sir yes sir i am there sir okay you tell me what will happen now tell me anu i am waiting for you anu sir string text is a local variable sir correct it is a local variable no because it is created within this it is a local variable right now we are passing the value of hello into this uh, string text local variable sir correct hmm. uh, we are trying to print uh, one minute one minute this line over is yes, this sir. line over yes sir yes sir you understood this line yes sir you just now told you did not understand this line so soon you understood this line sir uh, when you are asking i am getting it sir so when i am trying that? to solve it myself i am getting confusion sir no 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 see listen to me like how i am asking no you have to ask yourself yes sir. correct no you have yes, to sir. ask yourself what is this how it is and all that right okay yes, huh. did you understand this line now yes sir guaranteed guaranteed sir it's a very simple thing it is not sir, complicated here, thing one more hmm. doubt sir sir text string s in this string s is also a local variable no sir here yeah, yes it is also local variable yes sir hmm. then Hmm. From Dhanesh, come to this now. Did you understand so much? Yes, sir. Yeah, Anu. Now, what is this text containing? This te text is containing hello, sir. Ah, hello. How? How Anu? Sir, uh, we are passing hello to the string yes, no, sir. Okay, we are passing to this, and we are storing into this. This one, this text is different than this text, no? Yes. Yeah. It initially contains this, null. This After updating this, it will update to. No, this will not get updated at all because this string text is local to this one. Yes, sir. What is sir? This text is local to this one. It is. This has nothing to do with this one. Okay, sir. What? Okay. Local uh, local variable does not have anything with the uh, class variable, sir. If you make changes to this, how will it reflect? To this? this is in a different memory. This was in a different. This is a totally different thing. It belongs to an object, whereas this one does not belong to any object. There is just a local variable inside this constructor. That's all. You are updating this. You are not updating this. That is why I gave you this program. I gave you this program to confuse you purposefully by giving the same name. Okay. So when I am yes. updating this, this is a local variable. It has nothing to do with this one. You still did not understand. Understood, sir. Don't lie. Sir, really understood, sir. But uh, why we are getting null pointer ex exception, sir? Okay. What is this containing now? It it contains null, sir. So does it contain hello? No, sir. Why it doesn't contain hello? Because hello is present in the local variable. Ah, uh, it is not updated, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Come to this now. Okay. Tell what is what is this test now? Test test. Yes, What are you trying? Test dot. What is this? Test dot text. We are calling that, that text. 
text is a class variable sir now what is the value of that null sir null correct no yeah. and on null we are trying to call upper case yes sir normally we have to call upper case on what so suppose i say string s1 is equal to subhash okay yes sir and then if i say s1 dot to upper case it will be valid correct no yes sir why it will be valid because s1 because is pointing to a string yes sir whereas is text pointing to any string no sir it is, it is pointing, pointing to, to null. null now yes, it sir. means you are trying to do null dot to upper case yes sir when you try to do an upper case on null what can it do null means it is not pointing to anything you are trying to do an upper case on a null yes sir so what will happen it will result in a null pointer exception null pointer exception it is a runtime error yes sir yes sir understood yes sir. yes sir this is a very simple thing so you have to ask yourself and go detail into it and see what is happening yes sir now you will go to company do you think there is subhash ke you to explain each and everything like this no sir no sir these are simple thing no concepts yes i can explain but these are small small things you must only try to do it yourself isn't it sir but little confusion between the class uh, variables and the local variables sir. when do you have confusion did you go then through no. an online book and all that no sir no you didn't go through no only some topics sir i'm That's starting all. as simple as that in let me tell you one thing very simple uh, uh anu right yes sir let me tell you something very very straight forward yes sir if you don't follow my instruction you are not going to learn yes i agree with you sir you have to agree there is no other way to disagree you yes, have sir. to agree if you do not follow my instructions if you don't trade okay see there are many people who are actually learning it okay it's not just uh, you know everybody are doing it isn't it now if yes, you sir. don't do it you will not learn i am telling you i have mentored more than a lakh people more than a lakh people okay and out of that lakh people whoever has you know followed my instructions very thoroughly they are in top 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 companies you're getting it ma Oh, yes, no? sir. yes sir yes yes right. you might have 101 reasons for not reading my online book 101 yes, reasons okay then your entire you know you'll be telling reasons only you have time i gave you time i'm giving you instruction by instruction what has to be done isn't it yes sir you think you are wasting time or you are utilizing all your time in life wasting all so much of time sir you are wasting so much of time right yes sir who paid you money for java course you my paid or your sir. father paid So basically, then you are cheating your father. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Am I cheating you by not teaching you? No, sir. No, sir. So you, then you are taking your father's money. You know how difficult it is to earn money. Yes, sir. Even for single rupee, you know your father has to really struggle. Will anyone give you one rupee simply? No, sir. No one. Then you have to, you know, use your money. I mean, you have to exploit it, right? You have to make use of that uh, uh, money that your father has paid, right? You have to make him proud, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you have to struggle. You have to read that online book. Why am I asking you to read that online book? When you read it, when you practice it, when you start thinking about it, no, that is when you will learn. See, just by attending my class, you will not learn. Okay, my class will help you a lot. But when, when you actually can do, go and do your revision, isn't it? Yes. The world has changed very drastically, my dear friends. The world has changed very drastically, and you know there is huge competition, huge and huge competition. you cannot say i am having my college work i have my academic work let me tell you in spite of all this people are still doing correct no anu you are listening to me yes sir listening sir you are listening no okay yes, i have my brother's uh, kid okay my elder brother's kid my uh, you know uh, nephew he is my nephew okay he is studying in uh, ukg okay so from morning till evening he'll be in some or the other classes he'll be learning it is though he has joined for lot of classes also i keep seeing this today's generation kids and you know what i thought he would not be able to pick up but he's able to pick up everything it's all because he has he does not know that he cannot pick up he thinks he can pick up and he picks it up and you guys can really do it you have the online book you have my material you have my class going on okay you have the best java coach with you you are learning from you know i know i should not you know boast myself but i'm trying to tell you the reality you have you are learning from one of the india's finest coach on java here people yes. want to learn from me yes or no and still you are not making use of it you won't know the value when someone is actually teaching you why don't you go and learn online book will you learn that sir i'm learning sir but i'm a little slow learner sir 
don't tell you are a slow learner P, the world doesn't need slow learners world needs fast learners now you go to company you go so. no you go to company and say i am a slow learner i can only work slowly will the company accept no sir no one no no nobody will accept so you cannot yes. say you are a slow learner isn't it yes. okay so you have to learn faster okay yes sir and you are not able to follow because you have not done that revision you are not doing your assignments thoroughly that is the reason See how Dhanesh could immediately catch it up. Correct? No, why? Because I think he is doing his assignment thoroughly. Okay, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Will you do it? Yes, sir. I will do it. Sir. Promise. Promise, sir. Who is your favorite God? Myself, sir. Very good. Promise on you. Promise on me, sir. If you won't do, then you are head damar. Yes, sir. Okay. So do it yes, today sir. only. So you have again uh, three four days. Tomorrow is the last class for this week. After that, you have time. So please do it. Okay. Yes, sir. and teach others yes sir thank you okay. so much sir okay no problem bye we will uh, guys okay shall we uh, continue the class guys i want to finish it off today shall we continue the class is that okay shall we continue the class guys it's very important are you all okay with that hello the third one you can do and do it yourself did you see that do it yourself guys do it yourself can you do that yourself it's some assignments on strings replace all occurrences and all that i am telling you it is not at all difficult it's you can do it by yourself is that okay guys right okay don't think i am skipping or anything because i uh, it is you can actually do it but it's so simple i want to teach you command line arguments shall we do that command line arguments yeah okay let me now do command line arguments so be with me i am going to teach you command line arguments are you all ready shall we do it guys command line arguments yeah okay now listen okay no first one let me write this program for you okay so snow you are there with me yes sir okay so command line arguments dot java okay so let me write that code okay public class command line arguments public static void main string okay string args guys i'll go very slow here okay so i'm going very guys can you see my terminal can you see no. my terminal no you cannot no, see sir. my okay one second one second Okay, can you see my terminal now? Yes, sir. Hello, guys. Can you see my terminal? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So now listen to me very carefully, right? Now I'll be going very very slow. I'll be going very slow. So please do ask me any kind of doubt, Jeff. This is important. Okay. The rest and all are simple normal methods that you can do by yourself. This is very important. Okay. So public static void main string args. Okay. So for int i is equal to zero. i less than args dot length okay so i plus plus okay and we have system dot out dot print ln okay args of i okay right now okay so let me ask you one by one okay let me ask you guys one by one give me a moment okay so chat okay right so uh guys what is okay let me ask uh, snow what is this snow tell me what is this it's a array so args yeah what is this called as args is an array of type string okay, so it means what args is nothing but an array of strings type isn't it strings. yes sir nothing but array of strings guys is it okay yes or no hello everyone array is nothing but args of string isn't it guys hello yes, yes or no Array is, I mean, args is nothing but an array of strings, correct? Okay. So how does it look like here, like this string, string, square bracket, args, right? So what is args? Args is nothing but an array of strings. It will contain an array of strings, isn't it, guys? Yes or no? This will contain a string. This will contain a string, and you know this will contain a string. Yes or no, guys? Hello, yes or no? Put that in the chat box. Guys, put that in the chat box. That you must understand first. Okay. Now the next question is: From where will it get the data? The next question is: From where where will it actually get the data? Okay. It will get the data from okay command line. Tell me, guys, from where will it get the data? From where will it get the data, guys? Put that in the chat box. It will get it from command line. It will get it from command line. Okay. So the data that it gets from command line is called as command line argument. 
arguments okay the data that it gets from the command line is called as command line arguments now shall i run that code guys shall i run that code okay now listen to me see that okay i am compiling this code java c command line arguments dot java okay now guys put that in the chat box how how should i run this code how should i run this code guys how should i run this code tell me i have compiled this code how should i run this code quickly yaar put that in the chat box how should i run this code only java who is it snow tell me how do i run this code java class name. java class name command line arguments isn't it yes sir yes or no yes sir everyone put that in the chat box java command line isn't it okay now listen to me so by saying java command line arguments just like this it means i am not passing any argument to that array hello listen to me carefully guys stop chatting and listen to me stop chatting and listen to me when i just say java when i say just say java and command line arguments it means i am not passing any arguments to the array is that okay string square bracket i am not passing anything is that okay hello is that okay guys is that okay it means i am not passing any value correct in that case do you think that our, uh, array will have some value do you think that array will have some value guys hello it will not have any kind of value okay now listen okay let me run this code and see i am running this code do you get any output did you get any output when i run this code no. did i get no you did not get any output now we'll see here what i will do java command line arguments okay now you know what i'll do snow okay anu and then i would say Firasas. Okay. Now, can you tell me, guys, how many arguments I am passing? This is command line. This this entire line is called as command line. Okay. So, how many arguments I am passing? Snow, Anu, Firasas. So, to totally, how many are there, guys? Okay. Yeah. It is three arguments. Correct. Now, how many arguments? Everyone put that in the chat box. This, I am giving some arguments to this program through the command line. This is called as command line arguments. How many arguments am I passing? Snow, Anu, Firasas. You know what happens when I say snow like that? See, listen to me. Public, public, static. Okay, void. Public, static, void. Okay, main. And then when I say string, okay, string square bracket args. Right? No, I am writing it like this, isn't it? I am writing it. So you know what will be filled in this, guys? You know what will be filled in this? Okay, in this, all the command line arguments that I pass, no, that will be filled. Understanding? Whatever I pass through command line arguments, no, that will be filled. It will be filled like this. Listen to me. Okay. So this is an array. This is an array. Okay. What is the name of an array, guys? Tell me. What is the name of an array? What is the name of the array? Hello, args. So this is what. What is this? Args of zero. This is args of one. This is args of two. Okay. What was the first command line argument? What was the first command line argument, no. guys? it was snow snow will be here okay dark dot arrow mark okay what would be their next okay anu. what was anu anu would be there okay and then what would be there guys next tell me firasat firasat would be there okay so these are called as command line arguments which we can actually use it in our main method hello is or no correct now can you see the program there can you see the program okay so snow can you please tell me what is there what is the command line arguments okay now let me run that code okay let me run that code okay enter what is the output snow no firasat no firasat so how did get get this output let me open the code in the code okay what was args containing args containing snow no firasat no firasat args of zero is no so what is the length of this 3 It is three, isn't it? So for i is equal to zero, zero less than what is arcs dot length? Three. It is three, correct? Is it true? Zero less than three, true? Yes, sir. Enter system dot 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 print ln arcs of zero. What is arcs of zero? No. Snow got printed. Next, i plus plus i will become one. One less than arcs dot length. That is three. True, no? Yes, sir. Enter system dot 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 print ln. What will get printed? Ano. Anu will get printed. Next, Firasat will get printed. That is why the output is snow Anu Firasat. Yes or no, guys? Did you understand what I am saying? What do you mean by command line arguments? Hello, yes, smart out. One second. Fin Let me finish it off. One second. Is that okay? Did you understand this? What I am trying to tell you? Okay. Now, in the first case, in the first case, okay, I am not passing any arguments. Okay. 
I'm not passing any arguments. Okay. Oh, only, only, what is it? What happened? Okay, sorry. Command line argument dot Java. Okay. So I'm running this code. Java command lines. Okay. Enter. Am I getting any output, guys? Am no. I getting any output? Hello. Am I getting any output here? No. Why? Because I'm not passing any arguments. When I'm not passing any arguments, okay. So arg value would be how much? What would be arg value? Arg value would be zero, isn't it, guys? Arg's length is zero. No, arg's dot length is basically zero. When arg's dot length is zero, the for loop will not come inside at all. Arg's dot length here. Arg's dot length is zero. Correct, no, guys? Is or no? So first time zero. Zero is less than arg's dot length is zero. It will not come into the for loop. It will come out of the for loop, and there is nothing to print. Is or no, guys? Hello. Did you understand? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now someone was asking me some doubt. What was that? Sir, uh, sir, Dianesh, sir. Yeah, Dianesh, tell me. So, what to do if I want a space in the string, sir? You want you put a double quotes, no? Uh, I think if I'm not wrong, uh, you are asking me what if I want snow space Subhash? Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Okay, sir. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Is this what you are asking? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you understand now? Yes, sir. Simple. Guys, did you understand? Hello, everyone. Did you understand? What do you mean by command line arguments? Yes or no? Hello, everyone. Okay. So, shall we do that simple calculator quickly? Shall we do that simple calculator, guys? Hello. Shall we do that simple calculator? Last five minutes. Last five or ten minutes. Simple calculator. Everyone. Hello. Can you quickly see the output of that program? Can you see the output of that program? Quickly, see the output of that program, please. Okay, before going to that program, answer me this question. Hello, guys. Before going to that program, answer me this question. Guys, before proceeding further, are you listening? Say listening in the chat box. Guys, are you listening? Say listening in the chat box. Okay. So now listen to me. Okay. Is two and two both same? Are two and two both same, guys? What no. is this? String. String. What is this? Integer. An integer. Okay. So if you want to convert a string to into an integer to what is it we have to do? Type cast. Huh? Pass Who is that? Pass. Who is that? Hey, Firasat. Oh, sorry. Um, Snow, you told no. Type cast. Yes, sir. What here? Come on. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Guys, what will we do actually? Okay, we have to use that method parseint. You remember I told you integer dot parseint. Integer dot parseint method you have to use. Integer dot parseint method and pass this two over here. So this fellow will convert this two into an integer two and give it to you, isn't it? So n will contain two. Yes or no, guys? Hello, yes or no? Guys, yes or no? Hello, isn't it? Okay. Now with this knowledge, solve that problem. Okay. So let me take example of uh, Dianesh. Can you help me out with this? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, can you uh, start from first? One minute. Uh, public class, simple calculator. Okay. Before all that, now see how yes, I'm sir. executing that program. See, open the next page, ninety-eight. Ninety-eight, yes, sir. Ah, how am I running that code? Uh, we are compiling it. There are multiple. Uh, I have given yes. multiple executions. The first execution. Ah, uh, first execution. Com uh, compiling it without any arguments, sir. Not compiling. Uh, it, sorry, yeah, executing. Running it. So what are you saying? Assume, assume I have compiled it. Okay. Now I am yes. executing it. Right. So what will I say? Java simple calculator. So am I passing any uh, uh, command line arguments? No, sir. Guys, am I passing any command line arguments? Hello, in the chat box. Am I passing any command line arguments? No, I am not passing any command line arguments. Then in that case, args dot length would be what? Zero. Args dot length would be zero, isn't it? Now get into the program and see what will happen. Uh, main will have uh, string dot args will be empty. Okay. If uh, args dot length is not equal to one. Yes. Uh, args dot one minute. If args dot length is not equal to one, is it e not equal to one? True, no. True, sir. It is true, isn't it, guys? Args dot length is not equal to one is true, correct? So what will happen? Uh, System dot output dot print. Usage Java simple calculator will be printed. 
then operand one, operand two. Yeah, it means I am trying to say usage. Suppose you go to ATM, you enter wrong pin. It will give you that output, no? That you will give wrong input. This is not. Please enter this. Yes, sir. When you give wrong input, it will tell you how to input, no? Yes, sir. That is what I am saying. When you say Java simple calculator, I will say. Usage is Java simple calculator operand one operator operand two. It means it is telling give me some operands to calculate. Okay, okay. Guys, did you understand what I am saying? Hello, Ganesh. First run the program without any command and arguments. Okay, so it is telling usage is Java simple calculator operand one operator operand two. It is telling how to enter the operands, how to run that code. Is that okay, guys? Okay, so that is what is happening inside this if condition, Ganesh. Okay, sir. And then after printing that, it will say system dot exit zero means it will terminate the program. So, like, what is the meaning of operand one operator? Because uh, they are uh, outside the what's it? Uh, double quotes, no, sir. So they are keywords, no, sir. What is that? Like in the system dot output dot print, and then I'm just we have no, no. I'm just telling the uh, user. Okay, whoever is executing this program, I'm just telling the user enter one operand one that is a plus b, a minus b, a something into b like that. Enter. I'm I'm just telling the user. You can give whatever. Sir, I understood the concept, sir. Hmm. Uh, like I don't I didn't understood the uh, operand one keyword, operator keyword, operand two keyword, because they are they're outside the. They are not. They are outside the uh, double quotes, sir. They are. Who said they are outside the? Uh, double quotes usage Java simple calculator uh, backslash double quotes. It then there is no double quotes after that. It is next line. It is there. No double quotes. Ganesh, see listen. Yes, In the output you want some. If suppose I say Subhash, what will be the output? Subhash will be the output, sir. Will, Subhash will be the output. Yes. Sir. Double quotes along with it. No, sir. No, right. What if I want to put double quotes in my output? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Backslash. Uh, that's oh, what did you mean? Uh, you gave the names of things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I understood. Sir. Sorry. Have you understood? Yes, sir. To print double quotes, we are giving backslash double yes. quotes. Yes. To print that okay, double sir. quotes, we are giving that uh, backslash double quotes. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. understood now, sir. Hello. Next. Okay. Next. Sorry, sir. Okay. Run the program next once again. Uh, now you will run the program by saying Java yes, simple calculator within double quotes three plus y. Correct. Yes. Sir. So what is system dot exit zero? Sir? Exit zero is basically terminate the program. You are exiting the program. Don't okay, go further. Sir. Just don't execute the code. You are just terminating the program. Okay, sir. Okay. Now second time, how are you running the code? Uh, we are giving the string uh, three plus five, sir. So how many arguments are we giving? One, sir. Only one, correct? So where should it go yes, and sir. sit? Uh, it will go and sit in the uh, args of zero. Correct. So args of zero would be what? Uh, three plus five. This is command and argument, no? The first argument, correct? Yes, sir. So this yes, would sir. be args of zero, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me write that. Okay. This is a string. Basically, this is args of zero. Args of zero. And this is actually pointing to what? Three space plus space five, correct? Yes, sir. This is how it is. Agreed yes, sir. Agree? Yes, yes, sir. Agreed, sir. Three plus five. Okay, three plus five. Okay. Ha. Huh. Then now tell me. Now go to the program now. now uh, if R, if args dot length is not equal to one, hmm. uh, we'll be entering. Uh, it is equal to one, so we'll uh, go inside the program. So we'll skip this. We'll skip the if condition, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Okay. Next. Uh, int result equal to zero is a variable we are creating with zero value, correct? Zero value, yes. Sir. Okay. Next. Uh, we are creating a strings, a string uh, with the name tokens. Hey, Arg of zero. Array. That is an array. Oh, array. Yes, uh, token, token array. Basically, yes. an array. Token array, is yes. an array of what type? Uh, string. Okay. String type, correct? No. So basically, yes, tokens is nothing but an array. Okay. Then what are we doing? Uh, args dot d uh, zero dot split uh, um, at the space. Sir. Go to page number. Go to page number. 
ओके गो टू पेज नंबर 91 गो टू पेज नंबर 91 यस सर इन 91 वी हैव स्ट्रिंग s1 इज इक्वल टू सुभाष हैश लव्स हैश प्रोग्रामिंग करेक्ट यस सर सो देयर आई एम स्प्लिटिंग द स्ट्रिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू व्हाट हैश आफ्टर स्प्लिटिंग व्हाट विल आई गेट अ सुभाष will be in the one for zero position space loves will be in the second position subash will be in words of zero loves zero. would be in words of one words and one. programming would be in words of words two of correct yes so hash is the delimiter correct no it says yes, where to split yes sir in this case where am i asking it to split space sir. which is args of zero correct in the arg of args of zero yes sir. so i am telling split args of zero wherever you get a space correct space yes, and store it where Ah, uh, store it in the tokens array, sir. So tokens array, correct? Yes, sir. So this becomes what tokens of? Ah, uh, tokens of zero will be uh, three. Okay. Ah, uh, tokens of one will be plus. Tokens of two, uh, two will be five. And this would be plus. Okay, and this would be five. Five. Okay, done. Still here, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, next step. Uh, tokens of one dot. Uh, we 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 are entering a switch case, sir. Ha. Huh, we are entering a switch case. Okay. Ah, uh, tokens of one dot carrot zero. Okay. What is tokens of one? Is this one right? Plus. Yes, sir. Yeah. What is the character zero? Ah, uh, plus. So that will that it will become a plus over there. You get a character in a switch, correct? No. Character plus. Yes, sir. So that switch is used to see what operations has to be carried out. Whether it should be plus, whether it should be minus, whether it should be multiplication, division, whatever it is. Because we can yes, do sir. plus, minus, multiplication, division, isn't it? Yes, sir. So in the my case, model is now, yeah. What is it now? Ah, uh, it's plus, sir. It is plus. So will which case will it enter into? The first case. It will enter into the first case. So what will happen there? Uh, result is equal to uh, integer dot pass int tokens of zero plus no, no, no. integer no, 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 dot no, 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 pass no, no, no. integer dot pass int of tokens of zero. So what yes, is tokens sir. of zero? Ah, uh, three sir. String the three, correct? No. String the three. So yes, that sir. has to be converted into an integer, no? Integer three. So that is why integer dot pass int of tokens of zero is there. So this will become three, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Correct. Then, then what is happening? Plus. Plus. Ah, uh, integer dot pass int tokens of two. Tokens, tokens of two is five. Hmm. String five. What will happen? Hmm. What will happen? So result will be uh, three plus five equal to eight. Yeah, this will be put <coughs> in the result, which is nothing but how much? Eight. eight. Correct, no? Ah, eight. Then, then come out of the sixth statement. I think there is a break. So uh, system dot out dot println println tokens of zero is three hmm. plus yeah. space hmm. uh, plus tokens of one is plus hmm. plus space hmm. uh, tokens of two is five. Is equal to uh, is equal to in uh, uh, quotes hmm. plus the result is eight. So see the output in the uh, next page. Yes, sir. Did you get that? Yes, sir. Three plus five is equal to eight. That's all. When you run the next time, what happens? It is multiplication. So the switch case it will take as multiplication. That's all. Yes, sir. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Do you understand this command and arguments? Understood, sir. Guys, I want you to understand command and arguments. Strings and all are very easy. You can do by yourself. I want you to know command and arguments. Did you go? Did you see the code? How we actually navigated through the code? Hello. Do you understand this, guys? Strings matching, pattern matching, and all you can do by yourself. Not a big deal. Sir, I had a doubt. Yes, tell me. Uh, sir, in switch uh, condition, hmm. tokens of one dot carrot zero. Hmm. Is it okay. necessary to give carrot zero? You have to say carrot zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like what if you don't give that? You will not work. Carrot. You have to give the position. Okay, but we will give only plus there, right? Huh? Only one. That is that is a zero position. It is a string with only one character. Okay. It is okay. a string with one character. It is one. It is a string, but it is a string of one character. That's all. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, right, is that okay? So, Dhanesh here. Yeah, Janesh. Sir, we are assuming that the user will give correct input, like, correct input inside the string, no, sir. Hmm. Spa uh, three space plus space five. Hmm. Hmm. Like uh, we are, we don't have anything now. For now, the, uh, to say uh, we we have entered in the wrong format. We are just assuming that the user will be giving it in the correct. Correct. If suppose you don't pass any command and arguments, only then he'll say the usage. That's all. Yes, sir. Okay. If suppose he does not give, I think that that is not handled. Okay. Okay. 
is there a default statement over there you can put it i think you can put that into a default statement joshua is telling put a default statement you can say default statement and say wrong something like that okay okay sir yeah okay sir sir okay. once again explain that switch condition sir who is this harlat sir i will not do you should do along with me okay okay sir you only do now we'll okay. where we will start switch only condition sir tokens of 1 dot character of 0 ha huh. huh. what is tokens of 1 plus sir tokens of 1 is not oh, okay this is the entire string correct yes sir ha huh. string dot character of 0 so go to go to one second go to page number 90 ha oh, okay did you go to page number 90 yes sir last line you see s1 dot character of 0 what does it give you uh, yes sir capital s Ah, so similarly, this is your string, no? Tokens of one is giving you string, right? Yes, sir. Carrot zero is how much? This is a string. This is zero character. Zero character okay. is what? Zero character is three, no, sir. Zero character is three, yeah. Tokens of zero, tokens of one, tokens of two, tokens here. This one. This is the string, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Harinath. Yes, sir. I'm talking about tokens of one. Yes, sir. Plus, sir. Ah, so zero is plus. Okay. Okay. And then. Then what? Uh, nothing, sir. Understood. Yeah, understood or not? Understood, sir. Ah, okay, done. That's all then. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Guys, okay. Did you understand command line arguments, guys? Hello. That is important. Did you understand command line arguments? Sir. Yes. Anita, sir. Sir, if the value is like three uh, plus fifty-three, then carrot zero. How it will work, sir? Carrot zero is not working on the number. Carrot zero is actually working on uh, uh, the symbol plus the operator over here. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir, if we give plus plus, even then uh, it will work, right, sir? Carrot zero will work. Yes. Handle that situation. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. Nida Fatima is telling you are awesome, sir. Thank you, Nida. You are also awesome, Nida. You are super duper, Nida. Sir, this is Firasat. Yeah, Firasat. Sir, I understood command line arguments. Actually, I have a doubt in strings. Sir, basically, it's not a doubt. Uh, so, what's the difference between concatenation and appending a string, sir? Uh, concatenation belongs to uh, string, and append belongs to string builder. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine. Yeah. Sir, in uh, string builder, should we always create an object, or uh, shall we store it in the pool also, sir? Uh, no, you have to create an object. Why, sir? Why so? String builder is immutable. That is why. Okay, sir. Sorry. Uh, mutable. Mutable. Sorry, mutable. Uh -huh. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, guys. What do you do is just you know after the class tomorrow completely learn string and string builder from my material online book and then come to the class. Is that okay? Hello. Is it is it okay? Guys, yes or no? Right? Yeah. good okay so meet you tomorrow we don't come without reading please read and come is that okay it's very important you have to read and come guys fine okay chalo meet you tomorrow take care bye bye see you